Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and from today's episode of Sip the Tally Films, we're going to tackle Gus Edwards. Gus the Bus finally came back, and he had, what, 16 carries for 66 yards, uh, 4.1 yards per carry. Not his normal five, but then again, it's his first game back in almost two years. So let's get into what, what Gus did to impress me Sunday. With Before we get started, I'm going to make sure I shout out all the contributors to the channel. Uh, without you guys, none of this stuff would be possible. And I also have one name left off that I need to add to that list, and I'll be doing that today or tomorrow. And that's Noah Driscoll. Noah's on this list also. also so I'm going to add his name to the list sometime today or tomorrow morning. All right, let's take a look at this first play. Early in the game, um, I think this is his very first carry. We'll, we'll let it run from this view and then kind of break it down from the end zone view. Run the inside zone. They were doing something to kind of affect our gap stuff, so we kind of went to this inside and outside zone stuff. So again, on the inside zone, you're, going, you're trying to hit front side A, which is the arrow, the, the hole that the arrow's pointing to now. Or you're trying to hit the backside, eh? One of them two on the inside zone. That's your that's your your goal. That's your aiming point. But they move. And with them moving, with them moving, you're still gonna get the same thing. You're reading this gap to this gap. And you still you're gonna press it right there. And if nobody's there, you're gonna hit it. If somebody happens to be in that gap, you're just gonna be in the back. And again, you see, somebody's in that front side A. So what's the next best thing to do? That, that gap's closed. That gap's closed. The next best thing to do is bend it back. So you get your bend back. And again, with him coming off of um, the major injury he had, this is going to be what's important. Can he do these things? Can he stick his foot in the ground and go? He had a little uh-uh there instead of just one cut and go. But, you know, for Gus... At, at the size and the speed as he as uh, um, the size and speed he is, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's a positive like six yard gain. Great cutback, great vision, cause that that hole's closed. That guy beat powers to that gap. Just plant his foot, go get positive yards. Right, on this play here, you're going to get a version of our pin and pull. Which we've been running a lot lately. We've been running a lot of pin and pull, a lot of counter, a lot of power. Yeah, he don't get much, but still. Fall forward, that's what Gus does. Even when the play breaks down, he falls forward. Let's kind of go over the rules of the pin and pull. Alright, so they run it to the left so as O lineman if there's nobody in your right gap you have to pull so right now looking at looking at uh linda bomb and we're looking at i think that's moses to pull them two guys we, that's, that should be pulling right now and again ricard's gonna be coming across the screen too so technically you got a third guy everybody else should block down what's smart about this is stanley don't have nobody in his gap, but Clowney tries to cross his face and Stanley lets him, and now Stanley has somebody in the gap. And so now, with that being said, Stanley letting Clowney come down like that, now you got Linda Bum out there on somebody, you got Ricard about to get out there on somebody, then you got Gus coming behind. The thing is, Ricard just, Ricard should have been looking inside instead of following Linda Bum so tight. Because Linda Bum has this guy. Ricard need to come around and get his eyes that way. But he doesn't. He kind of Keeps that path, and that's how Gus gets tackled. But look at Gus, being patient. Being patient. Trying to follow his block, being patient. And again, falling forward. This play here was probably his best run of the of the game. I 
It's like it's power, but they really got Duvernay coming across. And I'm going to show you the significance of Duvernay coming across. With him coming, that helps hold Miles Garrett. Now, Miles Garrett is in like a, he got to respect the, the outside um, fake to Duvernay. But then what it does is it helps Ben Powers on his block. It, it got Garrett wide enough, so Ben Powers can have an easy kickout block on him. Then you got Ricard on a guy, uh, Andrews on a guy, and everybody else on their down blocks. Then you see Linderbaum trying to peel off at the last minute to stop Phillips from getting from the backside. But that jet motion helped help this block take place right here. Made it easy for Ben Powers. Because you got he had to respect that. And he was able to hit up in there. And again, falling forward. That's the theme. Falling forward. All right, now we have the little draw play. Um Lamar checks to it. I'm assuming he's checking to it. And it's been pretty effect a pretty effective run for us in the past couple weeks. But here it is again with Gus. And what Gus does is a good job of reading the second level blocks. As soon as he gets through the first level, he starts to break right because that's where the second level blocks are being set up at. And you'll see that better from this backside. Influence block by Stanley, which allows um, Clowney to go outside, which is where he wants him to go. Second level blocks by Mark and um, Ricard and Oliver. You see Gus kind of veer right as soon as he breaks that first level because of those second level blocks. We get a little counter action on this one. Get a lot of down blocks. Counter. What I don't like about this play is I love Gus falling forward. Just wanted to show you him falling forward. But what I don't like about this play is why is Duvernay pulling for linebackers? I know he is short and stout and pretty strong. But why is he pulling for linebackers? That's what I don't like. If you don't know, that's Duvernay pulling to take on a linebacker. And again, he, he's so not accustomed to doing this. With with what Ricard's doing right here, he's supposed to turn that up right there. And then Gus fits him right behind him. Gus know where to go. Duvernay just don't. That cat on the outside don't matter if he's not in the hole. Everybody, everything should go inside the kickout block. But again, even though it's ran right, Gus falling forward. Ran wrong, I'm sorry. Gus falling forward. Now, in this one, we get a traditional power look as far as the way it's ran. Ricard going to kick out anything off the end of uh, Josh Oliver, and then you got uh, Ben Powers pulling around for the linebacker. So Ricard takes on Newsom. Ben Powers gets the first thing through, and you, here comes Gus. Traditional power right here. Watch the card take out anything on the outside of Oliver. Ben Powell's going to pull to the first thing that show up, first linebacker show up. And Gus going to stay patient. What I like about it is he was patient right here because at this point, you don't think anything's going to happen. Like, like it's a cluster. But he stayed patient, allowed these blocks to happen. Boom, right there. And now he, now he got an alley to hit it. Now he has an alley to hit it. And he's going to run through the arm tackle of uh, JOK. Falling forward again. For another three or four yards. Now in this play here, we're going to get outside zone, which I don't know why we're running so much outside zone with Gus, but I do understand why we were running it in this game because they were bringing two off the backside. I mean, going to say Gus got, you know, this play is suited for Gus, but, you know, he got three or four yards on it. And he ran it right, though. He read his key, and he ran it right. Now I'll show you his key here in a second. His key is uh, Morgan Moses. The, the cheek of Morgan Moses. See that right there? Well, And when he turns inside, he go up. He, he ran it right. But what I would have liked Mo, to see Mo, Moses do, and when he at this point right here, peel back on Garrett. Peel back and help, get, help on Garrett. And then let the running back have his one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. Because once he stick his foot in the ground and get the head of steam, it's going to be tough for him to run through him unless he square him up. But I say peel back on Garrett because that's who kind of has the, the more impact on the play. Because Garrett's not hooked. Moses should be throwing a hand here to help anyway. He should be helping Zeitler with, with Garrett anyway. And Garrett was just a little, his foot, foot speed was just too fast for, for Zeitler. That's all that was. 
Nothing Zyla did wrong. His foot speed was just too fast for him. Then we come here with Gus's first touchdown, which was easy. I think it's a split zone all the way across. Ricard going to pick up the first thing off the end of the line of scrimmage. Everybody else is down blocking. Double teams and down blocks. Double teams and down blocks. You see, you see the split zone right there. You see where everybody should be going. Double teams and down blocks. Ricard kicking out the first thing off the end of, uh, I think that's Mark Andrews. Good job of Mark. Good job of Mark. Supposed to be doubling this guy. He shoots that inside gap. Go to the next level. Great job by Andrews. Great job by Ricard. Because Ricard could have saw that, but Andrews going to do a good job of washing him down. Ricard going to take on that guy. And then this cat right here, don't want any. He don't want any. He don't want that. No smoke for him. Watch again. No smoke for Johnson. He, he, he tapped out. And didn't even get touched. This is Gus's second touchdown. Ain't nothing really spectacular about it. It's just, you know, a traditional Ravens goal line play. He was one yard out. You know, he's going to fall forward for one yard. And the reason I put this on there is, is one, one reason I put this on this play on here. And I'm going to show you. This will be the last one I show you. The rest of them was like one yard or two yard games. But most of our running backs right there, they down. Not Gus. Not Gus. Fall forward. Another six yards. Theme of this video, fall forward. If you've made it to uh, this far in the video, notice the theme is fall forward. So right now, you know, in the comment section, put hashtag fall forward. And really just a good look at what Gus brings to us coming back. Uh, don't know if he's 100%, but what I saw out of him, I was really impressed with, especially being his first game back in right around two years. So with Gus, you know, getting back up to speed, with the way Jake uh, Justice Hill was running, minus the fumble, and with the, the game Kenyon Drake had last week, that should be a good three-headed monster to, to keep us on this little stretch run until J.K. comes back. So again, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, Thank you for everybody. We reached 7,500 subscribers. Are we really on the road to 10K now? Because I don't, I don't think YouTube will give me another low design until we get to 10K. So I appreciate it. Um, share it. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. See y'all soon. Don't forget about the roundtable tonight. Peace. We'll be